What's up guys, Godzilla back with another video. In this video we're doing some Clash of Clans today looking at the new update with the Builder Hall. I am currently Builder Hall level 4 and really the main part of this video today is this base. This base is amazing. Like it says in the title, I'm currently 25-0 and 0 on defenses. Um, I wish that this uh, little battle log went back further than just 10, but it only goes to 10 attacks. Uh, so that's all that I can show you, but we're going to look at a few of those today and do a live battle. But real quick, I want to shout out um, Pain Walker, and the link to his channel and the video that he put out will be in the description if you want this base. It comes from him. I take credit for this base. Zero. It's all from him. I just wanted to highlight uh, this base because it is fantastic in every way. Uh, we're going to look at one where pretty much zero percentage was gotten, and then we're going to look at another one where there was a, there was almost a chance of getting the town hall, but it worked out just the way we needed it to. So really, the thing about this base is you don't have to worry about getting 100% really. Whenever I'm playing, I just shoot for one star, or at least 40%, because no one has gotten 40% yet on me. Um, or uh, The closest they've gotten is, about, I think, 37. Uh, so this is an awesome base. Let's go ahead and look at some replays real quick, and then we'll do an attack. So this is the first one. He got 28%. We'll replay that. Um, a lot of these people, they go real quick. I think he does. Yeah, he just pops them out right here at the bottom. And I'm assuming one of the things they want to do is to get out, you know, my little clan castle people right there trying to defend my base. And then maybe that double cannon just because it destroys giants so quickly. But man, that stone thing, I can never remember what it's called. But it basically destroys all of them. And then the rest of those archers are pretty much within range for all of my defenses to just eat them away. Now, that's the first one. Let's move into the second one real quick. That's right here. Okay, so this guy got 37%. Let's see what he does differently. He comes out here over to the left, um, and he uses his cloak ability with his archers to get some of these buildings out of the way, which really he could have waited till the giants went in. Uh, but I put that spring trap there, or not spring trap, but the little flinging trap, whatever it's called, to kind of knock the giants out of the way if they send them in first so that maybe my defenses can hit whatever else is around there. Um, and not get stuck on the giants but the giants are close enough that the stone thing was tearing them up and uh, pretty much these archers they get really close and one of them gets a few shots on the town hall but they're within range of all of my defenses so really they're not going to make it very far and that's pretty much it for that attack uh, the third one here this guy gets five percent poor guy uh, or girl uh, but doesn't get much done at all and I think it's just because they spam this is where you can kind of learn something if you're having a hard time with attacking don't just spam all your troops in one spot that's open I leave that open right there because there's a bomb next to it so if you're gonna put down archers put down one first and see if there's a bomb there because your archer has a cloaking ability it's not gonna get seen so you can see if there's a bomb there then put the rest of your troops in they could have probably had a much uh, better attack if they would have just seen if there was a bomb there first uh, in my opinion, if I was to attack this base, I would have a hard time too because if you come in from the top, and I've had people come in from the top with the wall breakers, they get through here, but man, all these defenses have such large range, they still eat them alive. I, I, I yet have figured out a way to attack this base myself or have encountered a base like this myself. So if you have, please send me the gameplay if you've beaten it. Right here, I put this push trap right here so it throws it straight into this spring trap. So that way, if they throw some giants down in here, they're going to go into that spring trap and have to deal with all my defenses. And if they come in this way, they're also going to have to deal with this spring trap and all of these defenses and bombs all in one little area. So this base works out really well. Let's try a... Uh, a live battle and see how we do like I said I usually don't shoot for a hundred percent I'll usually just try to get 50 or at least one star uh, right here of course for me I want to take out that double cannon first because it's gonna give me a lot of problems but that stone is gonna mess me up so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna deploy one of my archers here see that's why you need to test to make sure so I'm gonna put some more of these out and then I'm going to put my giants in right here. we got a spring trap. That was dumb on my part. I shouldn't have done it like that. But we've got them focusing on the giants. So we're going to see if we can get in here and destroy this stone and this double cannon. So we get in there. And this might be actually my first one I lose because I was being dumb. But I do have some archers left. That giant's going to come in here and hopefully get this archer tower. But real quick, let's get out here on the edge. We can get this clock tower. They don't have anything farther out that you can really get. Uh, but let's see what else we can get here and get that percentage up just a little bit higher. We're not going to be able to get that archer tower, but we are going to be able to get this clock tower and maybe just maybe this barracks. 
I don't know. Oh, yeah, we might be able to get it. Uh, let's just see when that cloak runs out, if we still have the range. We do have the range, so we're going to hopefully get around 40% uh, to finish this attack off. Hopefully whoever attacked me didn't get any more than I did or starred me. If it did, it's going to be the first time ever. All right, so let's go back out here and see what happened. Okay, we won. They got 32% and no stars. Let's check it out. Uh, so this will be 26 for me. All right, let's see where they came in. Okay, so they came in from the top here, top left and right. One of the things I do too is I've got this fling trap over here besides uh, the right side just so I can fling somebody if they tried to come that way. But I can see he's trying to get just a little percentage. He only came in with archers, which sounds like a good idea, but really the defenses in this portion of the game destroy your small units so quickly that you kind of have to have giants. Uh, or all of the defenses and my troops that are helping guard my base are just going to eat your archers and barbarians alive. Uh, so that was a good try, but still no stars. So this base is amazing, guys. Like I've said, let me zoom out just a little bit here so you can actually see the base uh, in a good screenshot mode. So that if you want to, get a screenshot of that, turn your phone on its side. Uh, copy this base. Like I said, I've got in the description Payne Walker, the original person who made this base. If you want to get a check out his video, he shows you exactly where to put it and how to make it. And you can kind of see which uh, little bit of shrubberies and things like that that you need to get out the way to make this fit in the right spot. But that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it helps you out in all your clash endeavors. It's a little different than my Destiny videos. But if you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. Comment below. Let me know. Did this base work out for you? Or have you been able to find a way to beat it? Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do Clash of Clans videos every now and then. I mostly do some Destiny content. But I also do some funny montages here and there that I'm going to start putting more out this summer. Especially before Destiny 2 comes out. That's it, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Share this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.